I'm a straight rider, you don't wanna fuck with me. Got the police busting at me, but they can't do nothing to us. Well, um, you guys know I will be continuing my Worst in the Worst series, and today I will be talking about I'm kind of torn between two different topics I want to talk about. I think so basically I want to talk about it's a clip of Eartha Kit. It was like a, it's a clip from her biography, or not biography, <laughs> but yeah, her biography, like documentary of her, and it's like an interview, and she's like outside her home, and the interviewer asked her, um, is she like willing to compromise in a relationship? I will insert a clip. <laughs> <laughs> a man comes into my life and you have to compromise for what? And I love relationships. I think they're fantastic. They're wonderful. I think they're great. I think there's nothing in the world more beautiful than falling in love. But falling in love for the right reason. Falling in love for the right purpose. Falling in love. You fall in love. What is that to compromise about? I fall in love with myself. And I want someone to share it with me. I want someone to share me with me. She said, um, she said no. She said, when you fall in love, there's nothing to compromise about. Because when you fall in love for the right reasons, and when you're with the, someone for the right reasons, you don't, you shouldn't have to compromise. And she said that, um, which is what I loved. Like this, what she said was, I fall in love with myself. And I find someone, and I want someone to share it with me. I want someone to share me with me. And I was like, that's it. So I agree with everything that she was talking about. I do feel like when you're in a relationship with someone, you shouldn't have to compromise. And if you do have to compromise, that's not the person that you should be with. They're not the person for you. You guys clearly don't want the same things because if you did, you wouldn't have to, like, compromise over it and to me I associate compromising with settling and I feel like if you have to compromise something you're settling for that person um, or you're settling something that you want settling for something that you don't want basically just so you can get the person so like to add context to that would be like let's say you want to get married but the person you're dating don't want to get married but you want to be with that person so you're going to settle by not getting married just because you want to still get the person because you feel like you're still getting the main you know thing but I feel like no um I feel like compromising is settling if you literally google what compromising is it's going to tell you that it's a settlement it's like um let me just let's see what it says because if I'm not mistaken compromising is literally settling like that's literally what it is I feel like you should never have to settle for anything, especially a relationship that's canceled. So, define compromise. Boom, and I was right. It says compromise, an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. So you're settling. I feel like you shouldn't have to settle in a relationship and whether that's settling for the person like the individual settling for something that they don't believe in or settling for something that they don't want or something that y'all just can't seem to get like agree on y'all don't have to like see eye to eye so yeah i feel like she didn't really say this but i feel like basically what she was but what i got from what she was saying was that compromising is settling and then when you're with someone for the right reasons um you shouldn't have to settle like you wouldn't have to settle you wouldn't have to compromise anything and when i say compromise or settle i mean like major things so like marriage um wanting kids you can talk about religious or like spirituality depending on whatever your beliefs are um politics or something so like stuff like that you don't just agree to disagree nah you don't even that's canceled 
like i didn't mean in like i believe in like small compromises like little stuff like sleeping on the left side of the bed versus the right something like small compromises like that by all means or he wants pizza she wants chinese food so y'all go get pizza and then next time y'all get chinese or whatever i don't freaking know but stuff like that yes but anything else no like i want to get married i cannot date someone who doesn't want to get married i want to have kids i cannot date someone who don't want to have the kids because i'm not going to compromise something like that like that that's major to compromise just to be with one person because what he won't do another man will and vice versa so yeah that's how i feel about that and i do feel like i like how she said like i want someone to share me with me she said i fall in love with myself and then i want someone to share it with that is the equivalent of knowing your worth and knowing your value and knowing what you bring to the table and i think it's important to fall in love with yourself before you go and try to relationship with somebody else you need to know how to be by yourself you need to know how to be alone you need to be able to have mastered being alone and being independent before go trying to be with someone else also mastering finding happiness within yourself because you just that's not something you should go finding some other finding in other people so for one fall in love with yourself know yourself like learn yourself um master being alone find peace within yourself and find happiness within yourself and once you've had those five things and then be open to being in a relationship with someone else and i think that's the equivalent of you find love with yourself and then find someone to share it with so now that you know your worth and you know your value you know you um you're happy as an individual you have mastered peace within yourself like as an individual you you're, you're more open to a relationship you can give your all to a relationship without having to lose a piece of you in the process because you already know who you are you already you're finding you already found contentment by yourself you're not looking for it in another individual so yeah i like what she was talking about i like that whole um interview and i also love art the kid too she's awesome she's very interesting and honestly learning about her story and her life is interesting as well she has a, a story her story is something so yeah uh that's my little spill for that i was talking all over the place per usual i have yet to find like a structure or like a i don't know boom, 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 like an agenda when doing these videos I just kind of want to freestyle them. Um, I do want to get other people involved, like get other people's opinions and point of views on this specific like series. But with this quarantine going on, it's not gonna happen. So, well, at least not right now. But I have hope and faith that it's gonna be over very soon. So when it is over, I'll bring more people in, have different opinions besides my own. Because um, I think it'll be, at that point, I can transition into like a discussion, I guess you can say. Like it'll be more of a dialogue and less me just kind of talking all over the place in circles and giving my own opinion. You can get like a different perspective um, and not necessarily someone who don't agree with me, but just like why their reasoning is their reasoning even if our reasonings are the same like my reasoning is probably different than like a lot of people's as far as like what i got out of what she said um yeah. so i guess this is it, the end of the video if you made it this far thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like comment subscribe all that jazz and turn the post notification bell on so you can notify if you upload a video you can give me some video suggestions in the comment section. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It is at G-A-B underscore A-R-I-A-N-A. -A -A. That is at Gab underscore Ariana. That's my Twitter and my Instagram. And if
if you want to add me on Snapchat, you can. It's Gabrielle Ariana. Boom. So yeah. Uh, you guys check me out. Tune in. I'm happy to have you all. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Going back. No, no.